guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my top 10 teas from David's Tea. And I'm just going to let you guys know that I just started going to David's Tea. I want to say it's been a full year since I walked into David's Tea for the first time. And I have a full bin and a box filled to the rim with teas and those are not even including the ones that are in my pantry. These teas are the ones that I reach for the most and I absolutely cannot live without. So the first one is banana nut bread. This tea I knew from the beginning. Like I smelled it in the store and I was like sold. I bought a hundred grams of this tea. This tea is so good. It is sweet and warm. It just feels like you're baking something, but you're really not. The ingredients for this one are dates, currants, and like banana nut slices and it contains almonds. So this one is my number one tea. I love it. So my second tea is Movie Night and this is a green tea. And this one's fun because it has actual popcorn pieces inside. And I really love this one ice. This is probably one of the first teas I've ever heard of um, from David's Tea. I hear a bunch of people talking about this and like raving about it and I was like I need to try this so when I first went into a David's Tea I knew this was one I had to pick up and along with this one Guava Cadabra this one is a fruit infusion it's with mango hibiscus and guava this sweet tropical fruit blend is seriously magical Ice yourself a cup and prepare it to fall under its a spell. This one is really sweet and really fruity. And I love this one iced. It is just perfect. I love it during summertime. So that one is my third favorite. The fourth one is grilled pineapple. And this one's also a green tea and it says... With huge pieces of real pineapple and toasty grains of rice, this sweet and juicy green tea is like drinking a cup of liquid sunshine. I like this one a lot. It reminds me of movie night because it has the toasted rice. And this one is very strong green tea with like bits of like grilled pineapple. I like this one. It's really good. And the next one is Forever Nuts. This one everyone loves. It's like a fan favorite. And it says, for almond lovers. This one's fun because it steeps pink. And it is um, caffeine free. So it has apple, almond, cinnamon, beetroot, artificial flavoring. This one I would say it smells like cinnamon toast crunch and then some people say it smells like apple crumble. And I really like this one. It's really good. I drink it like at nighttime, in the day. This one is really good. The next one, this one came out um, in springtime I want to say and this one's lemon pound cake. It's like a dessert tea. As you can tell I like my sweet teas and this one is a oolong tea it says with buttery oolong tangy citrus and a hint of creaminess this delicate tea tastes just like a slice of lemon pound cake dessert for breakfast has never been this guilt free and this one is really good i like this just hot um it is like very like i want to say just like banana nut bread, but like a lemony flavor. I really like this one. So this one's an oolong tea. 
And I think that's my first oolong. My next one is birthday cake. This is the one I knew I also had to pick up along with movie night and guava cadabra. This is a rooibos tea, a sweet and festive rooibos blend that brings the taste of birthday cake to your cup any day of the year, sprinkles and all. And this one has a bunch of colorful sprinkles inside. And this one's really good. When I have a sweet tooth, this is one I really go for. I'm almost out, so I have to be filling this tea soon. And I think you get like, when you go in the store, it's like 50 cents off. I want to say when you refill your tin. So the next one is a splurge of mine. This is the biggest tin I have from David's Tea. And I just knew because the last time it was here, I missed out on getting it. So this time I couldn't resist but get a tinzilla of cotton candy. And this is another rooibos tea. It says, this sweet treat is deliciously nostalgic and ridiculously fun. And this tin whew, is so beautiful. Look at these sprinkles inside. I love this one as an iced latte. Hot, cold, cotton candy is definitely my favorite next to banana bread. It is so good. So I just have to get the biggest one, it's like the size of my head. The next tea is called Monk's Blend, and this is a white tea, and it says, With jasmine pearls and milk oolong, this luxurious mix is inspired by the classic tea blends enjoyed by monks in rural China. Delicately perfumed and lightly creamy, it's pure heaven in a cup. And this one I had a sample of because when you buy online you get to pick three samples and I picked this one and I didn't think I was going to like it but I absolutely love this one. It's not like a crazy tea with a bunch of different um, ingredients but I like how it is a mix of the two different kinds. So this one is really good and it's not even a straight tea either. But I feel like this is pretty good. So I bought the teal tin for this one. And my last tea is a new favorite and it is Blueberry Muffin. And this came out with the Great Outdoors collection. And this one is really good. It is just like... um. Blueberry jam mixed with like a cake, I want to say. If you ever had blueberry jam, it's pretty good. But blueberry muffin, this one is really good. It's creamy, it's sweet, but it's kind of tart all at the same time. So this one I had to pick up when it was two teas, get one free, I believe. So those are the top 10 teas that I love from David's Tea. So if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Bye.